Hey everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. Today I am talking about the iOS 14 and how you can make your iPad and phone look beautiful again without seeing all of this mismatching apps and all that kind of stuff. After I got this changed, I could not help but just look at my phone all the time because it looked so nice. Um, but our channel is all about digital planners and using your iPad and your Apple Pencil to stay organized. So if you're interested in that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of our new upcoming releases and sales and different tips and tricks. And this month we have something amazing coming out. So you definitely, definitely want to stay around for that. So getting right into this video, I'm going to show you how to change your iPad and your phone to look more aesthetic and we are going to get right into it. It is not quite as hard as what I was trying to make it out to be at the beginning. And I know a lot of people have spent absolutely hours trying to change their stuff. That all depends on how many apps you have to change and just how how big you want to go with this thing. So I wanted something easy. I have two kids, so I needed something easy and quick. So I went to Instagram and I typed in iOS 14 and I found these adorable, adorable little icons. And now it did not have an icon that perfectly matched for all the apps that I use all the time, but it was good enough. And it was only a few bucks and it saved me a ton of time of trying to find the perfect Pinterest pictures. So starting off, I kind of knew I wanted to do a fall theme because we're going into October. Um, so I found this cute little picture on Pinterest that just says fall breeze, autumn leaves, but it's actually decor, fall decor. And then I kind of drew this and made this myself, but it's a fall background that I got on Pinterest. And then my second page here, this is also a little picture from Pinterest. And then I kind of mimicked a little bit of the idea, except I have a little bit more of a busy background because it's a bigger screen on my iPad. Okay, so what I recommend doing first is going through your phone, deleting any apps that you don't want on your phone anymore, and then also deleting all of your apps that you do not use on a daily basis. So what I did was, this is a regular app, right? I haven't changed the cover or anything on it. So this is what your phone's gonna look like. It's gonna have all these apps. So you're going to hold down on this. You're gonna hit edit home screen. And then you're going to hit the minus icon after it starts shaking, hit the minus icon. And then it says delete app or move to app library. If this is an app we want to keep on your phone, you just hit move to app library and then it is gone. So you want to just keep the apps that you use all the time, like every day or every other day, and then use all of your other apps. Just have them stored back here in the app library. They automatically organize them for you. You can uh, scroll down, you can look by the app name, or you could hit one of these just um, whole things here and it'll bring up all your productivity and finance. So um, they automatically do all that for you. So I just moved all the apps that I do not use on a daily basis and I put them back there. And then this has two pages now of stuff that I use all the time. Okay, so once you've deleted all of your apps and you've cleaned that up, then you need to decide, do you want to get an app bundle where everything matches and you already have pretty much all your app covers made? Or do you just want to leave your apps as is and just add these widgets? Or do you want to go to Pinterest and download some cute little pictures and use those pictures for all of your app icons and for this part? So once you decide that, definitely go through Pinterest. Um, a lot of people will just type in fall if that's what they're wanting to get pictures of or they will type in iOS 14 aesthetic to kind of get ideas of what other people are doing. But you can go to Pinterest, you can click on an image you like, hit the three dots and then hit download image. And then that will, image will be saved on your photo library for you to use as your app icons or for you to add these little widgets. So once you have done that, again, I bought this packet from a store on Etsy. So I just typed in like iOS 14 app covers and I downloaded it. It was a few dollars and it definitely took a lot of the time of research and stuff out of it and it all matches, which is a win-win for me because I've got two kiddos running around at home and I don't have a lot of time to make my stuff look really nice. Um, so basically I did find these two really cute pictures from Pinterest. I designed this one and then the other ones are of my family and then the calendar because I always need to see a full page calendar. So that actually helps me out quite a bit. Okay. So the other thing that you're going to want to do, once you have your background, you have your apps deleted, and then you figured out what covers and pictures you want to use, you want to download the app called Widget Smith. So it looks like this. Oops. Let's go out so you can see. It has this little black with the blue line and it says widget smith is what it's called and then you're going to be open up to this spot where it has um, small widgets medium widgets and large widgets i personally did not use any of the large widgets because it literally takes up the space of 
like 16 of these things, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it may not be quite that large, but it is a very large section, and I think it actually is. Um, so anyways, it was just too big. I didn't like it, so I only used the small and the medium sizes. So the, these are the small widgets, and then the medium is the horizontal style picture. So what you're gonna do is, once you figure out what family pictures you wanna use, if you want to use calendars, all that kind of stuff, I mainly just used pictures. So you are going to add a small widget, and then you're gonna click on the Saturday, and then you're gonna click on it again, and then you get to choose here. Do you want time? Do you want date? Do you want to do customs pictures with the date on it? Do you want to do your own text, a battery icon, upcoming events? They have all these things that you can put on as your widget. Weather, all the different things, which you actually have to pay for the weather one. Um, so basically, I just used the photo one. And then I think I may have used the photo one with the day and the date on one of my widgets. And then um, this month one is one of my widgets. And so you just go through and you can customize them. You can customize the font, the tint color, the background color, the border color. On all of mine, I just used a picture and then I used the font, um, this font here. I thought that was really pretty. So I used that one on all of them so they would all be the same and look nice. Um, so basically you're gonna go through and make your widgets. So you need to figure out what design style you like. If you look up on Pinterest, um, you can find several different ideas. Some people use uh, this long one in the middle and then they have a big one with four little ones. Some of them use long one in the middle with all the little ones on top. I kind of like having the header and then it like that and then on my second page kind of every other one, but literally you can use these however you want. So once you make your um, widgets, now definitely whenever you're in the widget smith, you have to make one for each one. So like this one's that picture, this one's the picture that says Saturday, October 3rd. You have to add a new widget every single time. You can't just replace one because it, it reads off of this. So if you replace any of these, it's going to replace which one you have on your home screen. Okay, so after you've designed all of those, then you're going to hold down and you are going to hit this plus icon up here at the top. I'm actually gonna scroll over to the next page, hit the plus icon. And then you can do a smart stack, a photo, fitness, all of these are apples. To me, they are helpful, but they're not very eye pleasing. <laughs> so um, if you scroll on down here to the bottom, you're gonna see Widget Smith. So you're gonna hit Widget Smith and say, I want to add another medium and I'm gonna hit add widget. Okay, now you say, oh my goodness, that's not the widget that I wanna add, that's okay, this is how you do it. You go ahead and add it and hit done. And then if you hold down on it, you can edit the widget. And then it's gonna come up with just medium one, medium two, medium three. So if you didn't write yours down on which is which, you have to kind of hit them all, hit off, and see which one it changes it to so you know. Um, but once you get them designed, then you can just easily add those in there like that. You can always hold down and delete it if you don't want that widget on there anymore. So that is how you get the widgets onto your regular screen. For the longest time, I kept adding the widgets on this part and I couldn't figure out how to get them onto my home screen. So if you just hold down and then you'll see the plus icon up here at the top and that is how you get them added there. And they're super easy to um, move these things around. Say if you want all the big ones over here on the side, that's easy to do. You can just play around with it and move it until you get it the right style that you like it. I do like the plain background on the phones because there's just so much going on and it's easier to read. But like I said, if you buy some of those packets, they pretty much have everything for everything that you'd want. Um, your mail, your reminders, your files, your um, Instagram, Etsy, uh, all of that kind of stuff. You can definitely find app covers. Okay, so to do app covers, you are going to scroll down and you're going to type in um, shortcuts. This comes on every phone. Okay. So you're going to hit shortcuts and then you are going to make sure it's on my shortcuts down here. And you're going to hit this plus icon in the top right hand corner, new shortcut. You're going to add action and you're going to do scripting and then you're going to do open app. And then you're going to choose the app that you would like to open. So say we want to open files. Um, then we're going to hit this top the three dots in the top right hand corner and we're going to hit add to home screen okay when you hit add to home screen you can actually change the icon if you try to change the icon out here it's only going to bring you a few different um, color options but if you hit add to home screen then click here it will allow you to choose a photo from your albums um, or from files or whatever and then you're going to want to rename it here 
um, whatever you want to name it. You don't have to name it files if you don't want to, but I'm going to keep it as files. Add, and then you also need to add the shortcut name, files, okay? And let's just go ahead and, whoops, I just added another shortcut, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and add this, and we're going to name it files, add, okay, and done. I already made a shortcut. I know I already made a shortcut. Name that. Okay. And then hit done again. And then you can see it's already added to the home screen. It added the first one to the home screen too. So you're just going to delete that. Uh, but this does not replace the app. Like you can't delete the app on your phone after you've done this, but it creates a shortcut, a bookmark. So whenever you hit this, it will come up with that shortcuts. Um, this thing, it will come up with that every time, but it's literally only a second. So if that doesn't bother you, you can definitely do the app covers. So that is how you can do the covers. And like I said, these were all downloaded into my file. So I just went through and picked the one that I wanted and named it. And that's how you do the shortcuts. The shortcuts take a little bit of time. They probably take the longest um, adding the app covers, but it's worth it in the end. <laughs> um, so that is how you are able to customize your iOS. Um, the iPad is pretty much the same way, except we do not have that app library. So I moved all the apps that are not very pleasing to the second page. The apps that I use all the time, I moved on the front page. Like I said, I didn't worry about the dock. It didn't really bother me. Um, I designed this cute little background, so I like it because it's not too much, but yet it gives it a little bit of variety. And then I just use some of my same ones that I used on my phone because I already had them made. And yeah, that's just what I do. <laughs> um, but you can hit edit down here. And right here it says keep on home screen. You're going to toggle that on if you want to be able to see it all the time. And then if you want to add things, you just go up here to the plus icon and you can go down to widget smith. And again, you have to remake these widgets for your iPad too. They don't automatically sync over. But like I said, if you already have the pictures and stuff and you know how to work widget smith, it's it's not that big of a deal. Um, Widget Smith seemed really hard whenever I first started it, but really, if you just um, sit down and play with it just a little bit, you're going to get it really quickly. So, um, But you can just hold down on these and change them however you want, and then you can hit done, and then you can have a little bit longer here, and this will actually scroll. Um, but I actually liked it with just, I'm going to hold down and edit again, and I'm going to take that one off, remove it, and then hit done. So. All of my pictures are on there. So that is how you can make your iPad be super, super aesthetically pleasing and uh, fun to work with. You can obviously change up these pictures all the time, update them with pictures of your kiddos or whatever you are into at the moment. So that is lots of fun. And um, then again, just looking at your phone makes everything a lot cuter. So so having your iPad and your phone updated to the latest iOS 14 makes everything a lot prettier after you have sat down and changed everything. And it definitely makes it a lot more fun. I digital plan all the time and I absolutely love opening up my iPad and my phone to be able to see all of the pretty backgrounds and stuff. So, so hopefully that helps you all get your iPhone and your iPad up to date with the iOS 14 and be able to change it to whatever colors and themes that you like. Um, and leave us a comment down below if you have any questions and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested in digital planning you will not regret it and i'll catch you on the next one